Oh, welcome to another Driving in MacArthur. Today we're in the car with Luke Flyder. <laughs> <G'day, sir. laughs> How you going? Good, yourself? Good, good. I'm better now. Nice. Had a coffee from Piccolo Me. You work at um, Camden Valley 4x4, our Ironman yep. store with Jay and Jeremy and the crew. Yep. How long have you worked uh, there for? Been there for about 12, uh, a little over 12 months now. Yeah. I started like a week or two before the four-wheel drive show last year. That's right. And we've had the four-wheel drive show this year. It's already come. Well, there's lots of passionate people that like to, as we'll find out with you, that like to yeah. do camping and all that sort of stuff. Yep. That's their thing. But yep. before we get to the camping stuff, tell us a bit about you, your background. You are a okay. butcher by trade. I'm a butcher by trade, yep. Yeah. Yep. I um I had to leave the, the industry due to having a couple of shoulder reconstructions. Oh, okay. So yeah, butcher by trade. Yep, butcher um, by trade. Left that and joined us. Yep. Or something yeah, in the middle, uh, or? yeah, I was at the point. Um, my partner, my fiance, she she was pregnant at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, we're like, well, once I had the reconstruction done after mm -hmm. Bubs was born. Mm -hmm. And then once I've done, it's like, what am I going to do after, yeah. for, for a job after? Yeah. And I've been, about. Yeah, yeah, I've been camping and four-wheel driving since mid-teens, yeah. just hit 40 this year, so been doing it for long enough. I thought, you know what, I'll throw my hat in the ring. The worst that. thing that can, that can be said to me is, no, nah, sorry. And we said yes. And yeah, <laughs> and, and Jay said yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grew up, I remember... Phillip Island area was that yeah where you I, I grew up I grew up down in Melbourne yeah um, we moved up here as a family beginning of 95 okay and um, yeah so first kind of 10 years of my life was down in Melbourne yeah apologize then, for that <laughs> and then up here <laughs> and then sort of late teens early 20s moved up to Cairns for a few years oh really yep yeah wow lived up there okay and moved back here and had kids and kind yeah. of Stuck around. You've got a kids. lot of kids. Yeah, I've got I've got three of, of my own. Yeah, and I've got two step kids. Yeah, so and where, whereabouts to live? I didn't like. The um, home for me now is, is just in Campbelltown. Okay. Yeah, been there for oh god. If you've got to ask him, close to, Yeah, just over ten years. Ten years. Okay. Yeah, cool. God's country. I'm, oh, I love it. I grew up like when I grew up here in Sydney. It was over on the North Shore. Okay. And. Not a fan of that area. <laughs> no. Okay. I oh, know. Like it's funny. You drive around the city and you're enclosed and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And out here, it's just so open and it is. It is so different to it what is. people experience in the majority of Sydney. Yeah. Like I love the whole bush country, yeah. like country yeah. country lifestyle. Yeah. Um. So you have other passions. One of which yes. is camping. Yep. Camping. So what I thought we would do is we'll cut the driving video relatively short. Yeah. yeah. And we'll go and have a bit of a camp. Yep. Crikey, I found a clearing. <laughs> <laughs> you said you went camping up in the north, uh, not northern, sorry, up in northern Queensland, Sydney. Yeah, yeah, up in Cape York. <sighs> Tell us a bit about that. That was 2021. 2021? Yeah. A 10-day, um, a uh, two-week trip turned into a month living out in the middle of nowhere. Because COVID? Uh, yep, yeah, because of COVID. And um, take enough food to get us by and li live off the land for a bit too. So you had to go like hunt your own yep. food and stuff? Yep. Yeah, you actually mentioned you're a hunter as well. Like, yes. What do you normally hunt? So for me, I like targeting pigs and goats. Okay. I, I target anything I can harvest the meat from and, and take home. And they're a feral animal too, I guess. Pigs like, and not, goats, not there's a massive stuff. feral yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a massive feral problem Have you ever used there. a fishing rod before? Yes. Me too, but I'm not sure I can make this one work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whilst we're talking, yep. this is what you got to do when you're out camping, you gotta go. Yep. All right, so um, where's your favorite place to camp? <laughs> favorite place? Anywhere that, 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 that there's a riverbank, anywhere that, yeah. that allows a fire, Yeah. there's good enough for me. Where's the next place you're going camping to? Next place? Too hard. I haven't decided, but probably the, the next trip's probably just gonna be a family trip up around Lake Lyle. Okay. Um, and what's your dream? truck to build to get away to drive in what's your oh uh, my dream four wheel drive the, is, inside yeah dream four wheel drive 79 series dual cab v8 land cruiser that's every man's dream though isn't it I'll, I'll, oh yeah oh. I'll, i'd love to have my, my v8 cruiser and did i read that you um learned to drive in a track on a tractor yes how does one learn to drive on a tractor okay so i grew up with my grandparents owning a vineyard and they i oh, was that down in Phillip island that was okay. no that was um 
around, that was out at the, at the Yarra Valley. Okay. Um, so I'd drive the tractor around the farm there, but then my dad's sister as well, my aunt and uncle had a yeah. horse property that drove tractors on both. Do you remember what sort of tractor it was? <sighs> Big red one. Yeah, because we had a we had a Fordson Super Major. <gasps> yeah, I nearly called it Dolphin. I thought they were banned. Um, oh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Squeak. We should have butchered some meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you do you also make moonshine? Did you tell me that? Yes, I do. I do dabble in. How do you make moonshine? Convert the starches to sugar. Uh huh. Convert the the sugars to alcohol. Then. Boil it all off. Do you test the um, potency of it? Like I do. You do okay. So I you do. are conscious that you could I've kill got, yourself. I'm very yeah. conscious I could kill myself yeah. with that. Yeah. Um, highest proof I've gotten out of my still has been 96 percent pure. 96 percent pure alcohol. I was uh, I was at a friend's place for dinner one time and they were Italian heritage and they were um, serving homemade limoncello. Yes. Uh, but they, and they needed like a pretty pure ethanol. Yeah. Was that was it? Yeah. Yeah. To. Um, to make lemon juice. So you're the man I can come to to Yes, most get definitely. That. I'll be making it for over 20 years now. Yeah, wow. So, okay, so hang on, it comes out clear? It comes out clear. And that's how you drink it, or do you do anything No, else? it depends on what you want to do with it. Yeah, what do you do with on, it? So if I'm going for, for whiskey and bourbon, yeah. then I can age on American white oak, or French oak. Okay. For that, that gives the, the charred barrels is what gives the colour, yeah, yeah. As a, and, and also a lot of flavour. Well, we've probably spent enough time fishing, yep. and you know, I've caught them up. What did you catch? A squid? Yeah, it's, it's, I, 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 squid I was planning on cheating by using the thing with a magnet, but then <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't helped me. <laughs> Once again, fishing's all about just having fun. Having patience. Well, yep. my granddad taught me it's about having patience too. You know, just take your time. Some of the best fishing trips I've had, believe it or not, nothing. I've caught absolutely, absolutely yeah. nothing. Yeah. Some of them I've been stuck on a mud bank for hours yeah. drinking beers with boys, and yeah. that's so you were some of the best. Then. You were drinking beers with the boys. We started fishing. a fishing trip. We started fishing, <laughs> but then we didn't pay no enough attention to tides. Oh my god, we're stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we'll have to wait another eight hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sit there and keep drinking. Yeah, okay. As long as you got enough of it. Exactly. Cool. Man. Exactly. Thank you for spending. No, time oh, good. With thanks, me. Scott. Appreciate it. Oh, we'll, um, Say goodbye now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Put a bit. <laughs>